Tom and I are just meant to be. Okay, every time you come to my channel, you know what's up. It's like a new set or probably something to do with lipstick. Today, I'm gonna be trying on and reviewing, first impressioning, that's not a word, the Lux at Sephora Luxury Beauty Kit, Sephora Favorites Kits. I love Sephora Favorites Kits and they're usually around the $28 mark. Um, this one, because it's a luxury set, is $40. With that said, I like that it has two mascaras and four lipsticks. I think it's a good mix. It's, it's kind of a little departure from what they usually do, which is put four to six lipsticks in a box and do that, which in my last set that I tried on, I loved the new fall 2018. Give me some nude lip set. Check the video out, I'll link it below. Um, and I'm doing a giveaway of that as well, so make sure to check that out and enter. Again, this set comes with two mascaras and four lip products. I think it's a really great combination of luxury beauty products. So without further ado, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with mascara. So there are are two mascaras in this set. I'm gonna start with the YSL The Shock Volumizing Mascara in Black. This, um, the wand is nice. It reminds me of Better Than Sex or the uh, L'Oreal, I believe it's Lash Paradise wand. And I actually like these kind of wands a lot. I know not every wand performs the same, even if they look the same, like the formulas are different sometimes the makeup of the wand is slightly different, but I, in the past, in the shapes I've used of these wands, I've liked them a lot. And I have not curled my lashes. I have not done anything to my eyelashes. Naturally, I have downward pointing lashes, so we'll see how this, how well this works. First of all, it smells like fruity lipstick. Okay, so here that is in comparison to my other eye. This is the YSL The Shock Mascara, Volumizing Mascara in Black. I really like it um, from what I'm seeing. I mean, it's kind of clumpy. Like it was a kind of a dry formula um, upon application, which is weird because like I haven't even opened it yet and it's already kind of dry. Uh, but besides that fact, it volumized well. It's kind of slightly clumpy together and I think that's because of the fact that it is a little bit dry, it seems, the formula. I don't know, we'll compare it to the other one and see. Okay, let's see what this next one is like. This one is the Dior, Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. So this part on the mascara is actually squishy, which is really weird, you can squish it and it's, so I mean, I guess it's, it's pumping, unless you're supposed to like pump this, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but let's try this one out and see. Again, no curling, I haven't done anything. My eyelashes are naturally downward pointing, so we'll see if it gives a curl or what it does. Well, you guys can decide for yourselves. I would love for you guys to leave a comment and let me know if you like the YSL mascara better or if the, you like the Dior, uh, Dior Show Pump and Volume. Personally, I like the Dior mascara better. I think it coated each lash evenly um, without clumping and I actually see a lot more volume in this one than I do in the YSL. Um, I'm maybe on camera, let me get a little bit closer. Okay, next we're on to everybody's favorite part. <laughs> Lipstick, which is probably what you're here for. I'm gonna start with the Hourglass Girl Lip Stilo in the color Peacemaker. This one is a nude on me, on my skin tone. Um, and I think I've shown this in a previous video in one of my Give Me Some Nude Lip videos. It has been in a set before, but I'll link that video below if you wanna watch that as well. But uh, I have a teeny bit of lip balm on. I wanna take off. Okay, let's try this out. I like this color. On me, it is a kind of a beigey pink nude, um, kind of like My Lips Are Better, but it has a kind of a glossy finish. I like it a lot. I've tried this product before and I liked it. I don't know if it was the exact same color because I don't remember really loving the color. I have very pigmented lips, so this kind of just darkened my lip color, gave it a little bit of life. I think if you have lighter colored lips, they would probably really pop on you. Um, yeah, it's comfortable, it's moisturizing, and it's a really beautiful color. I know it's not gonna work for everybody, um, but personally, I like this one. Thumbs up. Okay, next I'm gonna be trying the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color in 501. And I've heard a lot about these, a lot of great things, but I've never tried one of them.
definitely see the semi matte finish. Um, it's got a very slight gloss, but very, very slight. It's kind of more like a dew. I think it's a beautiful color. Um, it should work for a good variety of skin tones. Very comfortable on the lips. So this one for me is also a thumbs up. I have never tried a Tom Ford lipstick before and I'm so excited for this. Wow, I am so excited for this. This is the Tom Ford lip color in 09, which is true coral. And when I saw the color, I was a little bit scared because coral, olive skin tone, doesn't really, it's not a great combination. Like we're really, we're really pushing it here. Okay, but we're gonna try to make this work because we love each other and we think we're meant to be. Okay, let's try it on. <laughs> wow, this is a, this is a crazy color. It's a crazy color. It is fun. I like it. It's kind of scary, but I think it's a really fun summer coral. Um, I do want to say in the viewfinder, it looks a lot brighter than it is in real life. I don't know if you guys see that, but um, let me know what you think about this. Usually I would run far, far away from any coral colors. The thing about better quality lipsticks, I find that there's a lot less white base. It's a lot more like true color. So I find that this coral isn't completely, like this isn't one where I would just go far, run far, far away from this thing. Um, it's actually a nice bright summer color. One thing I do want to note for the pigmented lip crew out there is that I can still see the contours of my lip. So it's weird because this has so much color. It's really comfortable. Definitely not matte at all. It's just kind of a regular um, moisturizing lipstick. It is comfortable on the lips and it's very opaque. When I was putting it on, I was barely pressing. So lots of color. Your lip color can still kind of show through, which I actually think is a good thing. So people like me can pull these off, whereas otherwise I wouldn't really be able to if it was super solid, super bright, white based color. I think this is a great formula and beautiful color that I will wear this summer. Who could say no to Tom? Next, I'm gonna be trying the Givenchy Le Rouge Semi Matte Lipstick in shade 315. And I'm really excited about this color. I have something similar from them that I think I got from a Sephora 100 point perk, so this might be the same color. But let's try it on. I know that Givenchy lip products are incredible um, as far as I have experienced. Oh my gosh. Hands down the most opaque, most pigmented lipstick in this whole set. I mean, beats out Tom Ford, beats out Giorgio Armani, beats out all of them. Beautiful semi-matte finish, and I know these are really comfortable on the lips. Givenchy, there's a reason that they're known for their lip products in the beauty world, because they're freaking awesome. <laughs> um, and this one's no exception. The ones I've tried in the past have been great, and this is incredible. It's a beautiful color. I think a lot of people can pull off. Um, it's a great, kind of slightly fun summer color. It can definitely transition into the fall, and I think this is beautiful. I am already biased because I know I love Givenchy lip products, but this is definitely the most opaque, most pigmented out of this whole bunch. So there you go, that was the Luxe at Sephora Luxury Beauty Sephora Favorite Set. Overall, I'm a huge fan. I was actually not planning on buying this until a few people commented on my Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip video, again, I've linked that in the description, um, asking if I was gonna also review this, and I was like, you know what, why not? I'm really impressed with this set. Um, one thing I do want to say is they've included Hourglass Lip Stilos in their regular Give Me Some Nude Lip and Give Me Some Lips sets, so I feel like that's kind of like just a little bit shady, like it's not really shady, but it's just a little, like it, you could have included more high-end stuff, like one more very high-end lipstick, um, maybe a YSL lipstick or something, versus an Hourglass lipstick you've put in a regular nude lip kit. That's just how I feel, I don't know, let me know what you think, but personally, out of the two mascaras, I liked the, oop, oh, wrong way, YSL is on this side and um, Dior is on this side. So let me know which one you like better, but personally, I like the Dior better. I think it coated each lash more evenly. There are dogs barking outside. I think it coated the lashes more evenly. Um, the YSL formula seemed a little bit dry and it kind of clumped up a little bit. I mean, it still get volume, but personally, overall, I like the Dior better. I will use both and I like both, but if I had to pick one, it would be the Dior. Out of the lipsticks, quality wise, I think you can't beat Givenchy lipsticks. You really, really can't. Not even with a Tom Ford hammer. <laughs> um, you really can't. This was the most opaque, most pigmented, very comfortable. I think these were all very comfortable and I actually really like all of these colors and I like all of the formulas, um, but my favorite 
color. Right now I'm really into nudes and kind of very slight pink, so I would say the Hourglass color and the Giorgio Armani color-wise are my favorite, but I love the two fun colors they included, and I think Givenchy, Tom Ford, these are all great. I'm really impressed with the set, and I definitely at first was really hesitant. I was like, mm, I don't need it, I don't want it. Since someone requested it, it was kind of an excuse for me to buy it, and I love it, I will definitely use this. So it's a thumbs up for me, but comment, let me know which eye you like better, lipstick or whatever, but subscribe. <laughs> subscribe and let me know what you think. I will see you in my next video. Remember to enter my Give Me Some Nude Lip giveaway that I've linked below for a chance to win a nude lip set. See you guys later, thanks for watching.